All right, guys, welcome back. So today we have here on the showcase, we have another piece of Jim Show Dogs collection, and it would be his Claude Buster that he had. This truck uh, was something that I believe Jim had started and never exactly quite finished. Um, but I wanted to sit here and talk to you guys a little bit about it today, show you what's good with it, and uh, tell you about the future of it, and uh, we'll go from there. So first and foremost, as you can see, truck has Technocrap aluminum wheels. I've been searching and searching for Cloudbuster Technocrap wheels for probably the last decade. They keep, or had kept, seemingly eluding me. Uh, wrong place, wrong time, short on funds, whatever the case may be. Until just recently, when I was actually able to obtain a first set, um, I had to do some serious trading to get that done, two sets of GPS wheels, but we we're finally able to add a set. But now, not only do we have one set, now we've got two sets. So super stoked about that. They're actually a slightly different profile uh, pattern than the ones I currently have. So that is probably the biggest highlight of the truck. And then of course, because it's Jim, it absolutely has a gorgeous paint job. Um, it's a metallic candy type green laid over what I believe to be a gold base. And if you watch the video on the Blackfoot truck, surely you know just how nice that paint job was. And this one is not far behind it. Um, truck is absolutely gorgeous um, as far as the paint goes. This one, um, I believe his son was actually a little bit hesitant to part with only because it was actually missing a couple of parts. And um, he was worried about that. I told him not to sweat it, that the things that were missing were stuff that I could obtain, no big deal. Uh, but he did manage to do some digging for me and he found the glass and he found me a grill. He also then threw in a ESP Clodzilla front brush guard. Um, anyone that knows anything about ESP knows that they had kind of started back up doing some Clodzilla 2 chassis and other things and then have kind of stopped. They claim to be starting back up in the future um, but again, you never quite know what that holds. So nice to have had that come in the box with the truck. Shout out to Brian um, for that. And the other thing that he threw in was a new in the package um, bow tie Cloudbuster uh, grill, brand new on the tree. So anyone that's into Cloudbusters knows how valuable those are these days. So again, those were two nice surprises in the box between the brush guard and the bumper. And the plan for this thing is because it wasn't what I feel like would have been done in Jim's eye is we're going to finish this thing off uh, with a bunch of nice goodies. I've already started by adding the arch fabrication and design blower, um, aluminum blower on there. And then we'll probably find a, a nice aluminum roll bar to put in the bed with some ram lights. And then I should have a matching ESP rear bumper to go with this front. And then obviously underneath the truck is... Um, well, I'm going to say I'm undecided at the moment. I'm thinking maybe sassy chassis, maybe a custom chrome parts or a newer chrome chassis. We'll have to see. Um, either way, we're going to finish this thing and do it justice. Um, something, you know, that one completed, something that would have resembled that of uh, Jim doing it. So that's what's on the plan for it. Let me get you guys up and close so you can see just how nice this paint job is. And we'll uh, go from there. All right, so much like the Blackfoot and even the Sandrail, the paint that Jim laid down on this truck is beautiful. I mean, it's a candy green over what I believe is probably a gold base, and it, it really just it pops in the sunlight. Um, well, in this case, in the uh, the lights here, the LED lights in the basement here. And uh, like I said, the, the black has a couple of small little mars in it, but you can see it's still pretty deep. So I think with a little bit of uh, polish, we'll be able to get that wheeled out nicely. This is where things get real good. We got the Technocraft wheels here, and they are in fantastic shape. They are on backwards. Yes, I'm aware. Um, when I got this thing out of the box, I had just kind of popped them on to get an idea lay of the land of the truck. So yes, they will be facing the correct way the next time you guys see this thing. You may also notice that it has the C's 
knockoffs on there, which are a nice, cool little touch. Those actually fetch some decent coin these days. So again, another little pleasant surprise that those were on there when I got the truck. Up top again, we've got the arch fabrication and machine blower. Dan does an amazing job on these. You can get them with the, the bow tie logo etched in them, uh, 4x4x4 in them, or other things. It does have, included with the body when he gave it to me, it did have a non-4x4x4 grill, which is the second generation Clodbuster grill. Um, and then, like I said, he threw in the brand new in the bag parch tree for me with the uh, the bow tie grill. So that that was huge. Shout out, shout out to Jim Son. Thank you very much. The, you know that this is tremendous. Um, these things are getting harder and harder to come by. And obviously, we also have the ESP Clodzilla brush guard, which is in fantastic shape. It doesn't look like it was ever mounted. So pretty pumped. We'll definitely put that on the truck. I'm pretty certain I have an ESP Clodzilla rear bumper. That we could get on this thing to match it but right now our, our two biggest features for this truck is really this this candy green paint job which like i said as you guys could see is just is beautiful um and, and then obviously the, the technocrack wheels which are in fantastic shape so yeah looking forward to you know figuring out a, a solid game plan for this one um it's it's a it's a great base the truck's in really good shape it doesn't appear to really have ever been run so it's it's going to be a nice um, addition to uh, to have added, and then to kind of make my own. And obviously, we'll do it as a um, you know in, in memory of Jim. Uh, we'll get some vinyl or something like that on the windshield, then throwing it back to him. So uh, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this one. And uh, if you liked the video, please remember to click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.